10 to 15 litres, two to four bedroom house, interior and exterior. Today, we're talking Graco Magnum X7. Hey guys, Anthony from Go Industrial here. Today we've got Graco's Magnum X7 unit. It's the Graco DIY mid-range airless unit on a cart. We're gonna be going over some key specs, breaking down what the unit's good for, what it's not good for, and then comparing it to the other Graco DIY units in the range. On the surface of it, we all know airless spraying is fun. It's fast, it delivers a great finish, and it's not brushing and rolling. So tick, tick, tick. But when you're going over the spec sheet, it can be a little unclear what's actually essential and what's just helpful. So in addition to the essentials, we're gonna be going over some hidden gems, things you need to know when making your Graco Magnum purchasing decision. So let's go. Like the X5, the X7 is compact, lightweight, and very capable, however, you get wheels. The unit weighs in at around 10 kilos or 23 pounds and sits about a meter tall with the handle fully extended. Now you can undo the screws on the side, fold down the handle, and then it sits about 75 centimeters, which is great for storing it away somewhere small, under a bench maybe. The spray is equipped with a durable stainless steel pump and puts out about 10 to 15 liters a day with the max of about 500 liters in the year. That puts it in what we call the mid-size DIY sprayer range. It means you'll be able to spray a two to four bedroom house interior exterior walls, your ceilings, decking, patios, furniture, a small bedroom, and any other little projects that you might have around the house. When it comes to the material that you can spray in the unit, think about your interior and exterior acrylics, oils, varnishes, lacquers, those sorts of paints, or your standard range that you would use for those projects. What you won't be able to spray with the unit is any solvents or thicker membranes. Regarding solvents, why you can't spray them, these motors are brushed motors, which means they have a spark that's external and it becomes a fire hazard if you are spraying flammable liquids. So keep that in mind, don't blow yourself up or anyone else. Regarding roofing membranes, lots of people ask us, can I spray my roof with it? And the truth of the matter is, these units are just not made to spray roofing membranes. If you're looking to spray something like that, then you would be looking at a mid-range trade or professional unit. When it comes to hidden features that you might like to know about, there's two things to note, the fast flush and also the prime button. The fast flush system enables you to connect the end of the suction hose directly into your garden hose. No more carrying around multiple buckets of water. It's super easy and it's super fast to clean up. The prime button is something that you don't think about until you need it. The pump on the Graco Magnum is a ball and seat design. So if something gets sucked into it and the ball can't move freely, your sprayer won't spray. So what you need to do is you press the button a couple of times, which will quickly dislodge the ball, so that way you can prime and spray again. Is it difficult to use? Well, we have had plenty of experience when it comes to these units, so we may be biased. However, when we're on site with our fellow DIYs, it usually only takes about 15 minutes to have them set up, primed and spraying. It's super user friendly and we have a three part series on YouTube on how to set it up, spray advice and cleaning up advice. There's also a section on tips and extensions so you've got everything you need to complete your spray job. If you do get stuck though or you have any more questions you can always comment below or get in contact with us directly. We're always happy to help. Regarding overspray, it's an airless unit so if you're familiar with air assisted or car booth spraying or anything like that, it's nothing like that. There's so much less overspray. Most of what you see in the air when you are spraying is actually just mist and it atomizes and dries before it sets. So typically, you can just sort of brush it off and sweep it up. With that said, if you're spraying at something, it's definitely gonna get sprayed. So if you're spraying inside and you've got furniture, try and remove the furniture or at least cover it up. If you're spraying outside and you've got decking that you don't wanna get painted, I would recommend using some export or some drop sheets. They're only a few dollars and they're gonna save you a potential headache. At this point is where the essential and helpful tips come into it. Of the five Graco DIY sprayers, which one is the one for you? We see it through the lens of three questions. One, what are you spraying and how much are you spraying? Two, what configuration do you prefer? And three, do you wanna be able to replace the pump? So from the three questions, there are five specs that are important to you. That's maximum tip size, maximum hose length, configuration, what's in the box, and pro exchange pump or not. Max tip size and max hose length both speak to the motor and pump size, hence how much you spraying and what are you spraying. Essentially, thicker materials need larger spray tip orifice sizes. The X7 has a max tip size of 17 thou, 
which, as mentioned, is suitable for most interior and exterior paints. To help choose the right spray tip for your job, we've linked a comprehensive article below. You can click that, check it out. For the hose, all sprayers come with a different standard length in the box, and they also max out at different lengths. If you're spraying in a small room and don't mind moving the sprayer as you go, you only need a small length of hose. If you've got a two-story house or a larger length of fence, or you just want to keep the sprayer outside the room when painting, you'll need more. Configuration is a question of storage or transportability. Graco sprayers come either in a stand or a cart mount. So it's a cart with wheels or just a stand that you carry around. The stand mounts are very compact and can fit in small storage spaces while still delivering the same performance. Cart mount units have wheels, a hose hook and a paint tin hook. Simply hook the paint into the front and wrap the hose around the back and off you go. The box contents comprise of three standard items and three special items. The main points of difference are the standard hose lengths included and the hand piece that you get with it. Project Plus X5 and X7 all come with seven and a half meters of hose standard in the box, whereas the Pro X units, that's the 17 and the 19, they come with 15 meters of hose standard in the box. You'll also notice a difference in the maximum hose length that each unit can run. The X7 has a maximum hose length of 30 meters. When it comes to the handpiece, the Project Plus X5 and X7 come with the SG2 gun and the Pro X17 and Pro X19 come with the SG3 gun. That's the inclusion of the swivel for the SG3 gun. Lastly, do you want to be able to replace the pump easily? The Pro X range features the Pro X change pump that can easily slot in and out without the use of any tools. This enables you to replace parts if ever required, whereas the Project Plus X5 and X7 have built-in pump assemblies and also limited parts available for repair. So what's our opinion and what do we recommend? This is a great DIY unit and you'd be surprised with how much you can actually get out of it. With that said, if you've only got a small room or just some furniture to paint, the Project Plus is a great deal and might be the better fit for you. But then if you're doing an all-in-one complete house paint, interior and exterior, Maybe look towards the Pro X17 or the Pro X19. These units have the longevity with the Pro Exchange pump and the ability to spray more for longer. You can run up to 45 meters of hose as well, and you get the swiveled SG3 gun. Specifically with the X7, the main limitation we find is the Pro Exchange pump. If you're looking to get the longest life out of your unit, then maybe that's something you might want to consider. Thanks for watching guys. Be sure to check out our other Graco unboxing videos and our other Graco content. If you have any questions at all, leave a comment below. Let us know what you're gonna be spraying with the unit and what you would spray with the unit. Make sure you like, subscribe, follow along for more content. Thanks guys, happy spraying.